Canelo hell of a fighter, but I, it, my personal opinion, he's duck, he's ducking Benavidez. Mm -hmm. Do do I like this fight? Absolutely not. Mm -mm. We want to see Benavidez. Let's make it happen. The young man David Benavidez. Yes. He's, I call him the man monster. He's tough. I would love to see um Canelo fight him. You think that fight will happen? God willing, man. If the, if it doesn't happen, it will just get shame to boxing. What what about if Canelo fight one of the Charlo brothers? That would be a very interesting fight too. These are big money fights you're talking about, right? But I thought it, the objective in a sport is to make money. Exactly. And I'm not ever going to say anything disrespectful about fighters, but some people need to have enough pride to say, listen, I want to go on a, uh, a tour of being the best fighter in the world. Who wants to fight me? Right. Canelo got to stop picking his own opponents, man. We got yeah. that. He needs to be in there with the cello, the... Yeah. Both of them. He needs to fight both of them. Charlo. Charlo. He needs to fight both of them. Then fight that guy. Benavidez. 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 Benavidez.
Therefore, Mexico is lucky because they still have David Benavidez ready to save the day like Superman. What took Canelo a decade to do, and he still haven't done it to this day, it's only gonna take David Benavidez less than a year or so to get the job done, as he already has challenged Jamal Charlo when he put a date on it. And now he's looking to fight Demetrius Andre later this year. Now that's a fighter with cojones. Now that's a fighter who wants to fight for legacy. With or without a belt, David Benavidez is the people champion at 168. He's still undefeated. He's still the youngest 168 pound champion of all time. So when Canelo says they need to fight each other, we shall see if Canelo will fight the winner of Benavidez versus Andre. We shall see if Canelo will keep his promise or would that be another horrible fighter, AKA another dangerous fighter. Nevertheless, when Canelo says they just want a payday, we know for a fact that's not true because David Benavidez was willing to fight Canelo for less money than he's going to make fighting Demetrius Andre. Unbelievable. While Canelo was going to make 55 million plus guaranteed, plus pay-per-view percentage, plus sponsorships, where eventually Canelo could walk away with a hundred million fighting David Benavidez. That's the kind of offer Canelo turned down against Benavidez. Essentially a hundred million. That's by far Canelo's biggest payday. To this day. That's one third of the entire DAZN contract that he was obligated to fight 11 times to make that type of money. Hello, is anybody home? Therefore, the only one that's going to get paid the only one that's gonna have a payday is Canelo, not David Benavidez, since David Benavidez was willing to take a pay cut in order to give Canelo money from his own purse to make the fight happen. To make matters worse, Benavidez was willing to take less money than Canelo's recent opponents. However, Canelo still turned the fight down. If you may wonder why, it's because Canelo doesn't fight for money nor legacy. He fights to cherry pick. Even Bivol said, Benavidez beats Canelo, which like I said before, everyone at 168, everyone at 175, views Canelo as the weakest link. They all view Canelo as the Ryan Garcia at 168. Furthermore, when Canelo was asked about Andre, Charlo, and David Benavidez, he said they don't offer anything to the table. Well, I have a two-part question to all of the Canelo Alvarez fans. Instead of trolling in the comment section, answer these two questions. What exactly did Avini Yildrum, Rocky Fielding, and Ryder bring to the table that Charlo, David Benavidez, and Andre does not? That's a rhetorical question. I'll wait. And I'm going to be waiting all day because we all know what time it is. It's case closed. So to all of my keys, when you guys see Canelo fans trolling in the comment section, just ask them these questions and watch how quickly they're gonna tap out or deflect. So let's help these Canelo Alvarez fans think logically, not emotionally. So you telling me Canelo Alvarez fought Avini Yildrum. He requested to fight Avini. He made Avini his mandatory to justify this cherry pick who was coming off a loss and a two-year layoff where Canelo ended up making 15 million. On the other hand, Canelo turns down his mandatory David Benavidez for 55 million guaranteed, where after pay-per-view, he could essentially make 100 million. So again, what did Ryder, Rocky Fielding, Avini bring to the table? They sure didn't bring belts because they had never became a champion to this day. So we know it's not about belts and we know it's not about money because Canelo fought these guys for less money and they didn't have any belts. See, Canelo will try to have you believe he only fights for belts, but he only fights for belts against the weakest links, which brings me to the second part of my question. If Canelo does fight for belts, let's go ahead and play that narrative by old media Canelo along with his fans. If Canelo only fights for titles, then why did Canelo turn down 
a fight with Jamal Charlo for the IBF, a fight with Andrade for the WBO at 154. Why did Canelo Alvarez turn down these title shots? Make sense out of it. Why did Canelo turn down an undisputed fight with Demetrius Andrade at 160? For 40 million guaranteed his biggest payday at the time. After Canelo said out of his own mouth that his dream and his goal is to become the first Mexican middleweight undisputed champion. And why did Canelo turn down two offers to fight David Benavidez at 168 when Benavidez was still a champion? If Canelo only fights for titles. Because last time I checked, Caleb Plant ain't fought nobody. Last time I checked, Billy Joe Saunders ain't fought nobody. Last time I checked, Caleb Smith ain't fought nobody. To make matters worse, Charlo Andre and Benavidez are more accomplished than them. Case closed. To all of my Akis in the comment section, that's schooling the Canelo fangirls with these questions. You guys should drop the mic and watch the Canelo fangirls hang themselves. Heck, they might commit suicide, at least emotionally. Last but not least, Canelo was asked why he's fighting Gennady Golovkin. Obviously, Golovkin don't have a title and he's moving up in weight. Canelo said it's because he's talking shit. However, Andrade, who talked the most shit about Canelo, who told Canelo to grow some cojones and get some cojones implanted, he still doesn't want to fight Andrade. Like I said before, Canelo is not making any logical sense whatsoever while trying to justify all of these duck trails that he left behind. Trying his best to hide that he is the weakest link at 168. The Ryan Garcia at 168. With the facts being laid out, drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe below and click on the notification bell to be continued on the next episode of Aki, Aki, Ak TV. Peace and I'm on to the next one.